buzz around you know i want to be a data scientist i want to be a data engineer i want to go into ai this uh, certainly is becoming a trend more than you know something else so you know uh, because uh, it it feels like it's a great job because others are talking about it everybody wants to become that what is the actual uh, scenario behind it what is like you know something that is behind the scenes what are the jobs you you elaborate the buzz around this term yeah so i'm quite active on linkedin i i hear this uh, like discussion uh, like every other day almost like there's all, at least one post talking about uh, how many people are want to go into data science and for all the reasons that they have um the buzz is that the, like a data there are like it is a technology of future uh, a lot of things can be done with this uh, it it uh, like other uh, uh, a study in harvard called data science uh, data science as the sexiest job of 21st century uh, and all that stuff so it is ca- coming around like uh, after 2010 it is uh, a lot of buzz around it Uh, i was a like i was also uh, i heard about this thing because of that buzz actually but um, the reason i think one should follow this stream is they, they should not like uh, just uh, go in because of the buzz or there are going to be a lot of jobs and all that kind of stuff if you like uh, not only with data science but if it's like the other field if you are very very like uh, if you feel driven to it um, that is the reason that you should join uh, like uh, this kind of thing and especially to the programming and stuff you are a problem solver uh, like in data science if your passion is about to solve problems looking at data analyzing it and all that kind of thing should be the reason that you start i have some people like i have some friends who who are uh, there for who who, are, who want to uh, enter this field because of the money or because of it is a technology of future without even uh, understanding about what it is so that is something which i don't think is enough motivation uh, your motivation should be that uh, you are really uh, you really want to solve these kind of problems with the help of data and uh, if you understand the mathematical intuitions and all that stuff so yeah so those who are listening as jatin said your driving factor uh, if you want to become a data engineer or machine learning engineer should not be social media we yeah, are like first of all uh, hearing about it it's very techy like Uh, me talking about a project which can generate music itself sounds very interesting okay so that kind of things uh, basically like uh, you should give it a try you should start learning about it because um uh, because like it looks shiny uh, and all that stuff and it is for me but uh, when you go in deep for this or like when you uh, try to work on it as i told you it's a lot of maths honestly like uh, if you are looking any algorithm uh, you have to look at it as a per, uh, as a perspective of like a programmer because you have to code it but you also have to look at that particular problem or at that particular code as a uh, mathematician because you you have to understand the maths behind it because uh, it's like you have those algorithms but you have to do a lot of tuning so for that tuning you need the understanding of maths so these kind of things like people who join uh, like or who who want to pursue data science as uh because of all the other buzz uh or, or like they kind of uh, lose and start losing interest in it because they look uh, they they see a lot of equations in it or they just say that uh, we don't need maths but i can create a neural network uh, with tensor flow or some other library directly you should first give it a try uh, and see if they they find it comfortable they find it like uh, really exciting after trying it out uh, yeah definitely then you should because it is uh, it it it, prom- it has uh, a lot of promises in the future so yeah yeah that's about it yeah i think if we related with human psychology we tend to leave things uh, you know uh, we we actually you know temporarily accept things uh, which we really don't enjoy and you know after a certain amount of time of hits and tries and we feel like no man this is not where i belong so it happens to everything you choose in life if you really yes. don't belong to that thing if if you don't enjoy it from inside some or the other time after a temporary phase you will feel yes. like leaving it i know a lot of people who are here uh, just because they like there's one of my juniors who uh, junior who who is really uh, into this field and like he likes working on i can see it um, he 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 is getting opportunities in some other field but because he is very much interested in it so he is keeping his like he is uh, he can get a good job but he is doing an internship in this field because he needs some kind of experience yeah one thing that i want to mention and like even though like how much how many jobs are there or how much techy this world is uh, 
people like especially freshers they have a hard time finding a job uh, in data science or machine learning because uh, it needs experience you need to have understanding of the business you need to have understanding or actually uh, created something uh, which can show you the real world because uh, taking a course in machine learning is very very different than creating a project uh, like creating a product or creating a project in machine learning so mm -hmm. that's why actually i had to build a lot of stuff because it was fun but it was the requirement you cannot um, you cannot basically um, even like get your resume past the screening area if uh, if you don't have some good projects to show for it especially if you are fresher so yeah doing internships and projects kind of help in that yeah very good question is that you know if somebody is a fresher and if he aspires to uh, make his resume or her resume uh, what are all the things that you suggest that you know a fresher data scientist or data engineer's resume should look like ideally it should consist of all these things your suggestion to that yeah so, so uh, a data scientist role to a fresher is kind of hard not impossible but uh, they, because a data scientist should be somebody who has a good understanding of business or the working of how the company is working all the stuff and that is not something that you can uh, learn in college or you can learn online that is something which uh, comes from experience but uh, there are people uh, who can pick it up very easily and there are companies who offer data science role to freshers too but uh, for me like it's like at least you need couple of year of experience to be a data scientist in that role uh, but uh, as things goes for uh, data engineer or machine learning engineer like I, i will be talking about machine learning engineers in specific uh, rather than data engineering for now because those two are kind of different so for uh, for a machine learning engineer um, what you need to do is like uh, if you are uh, studying from somewhere else like self study and all that kind of thing if you still have some mentor and stuff uh, you are doing some courses reading some books those are basically creating your skill sets but uh, on a paper on a resume you can just write it down you cannot uh, show it at the, like you actually know the stuff or not so uh, what people look like uh, like uh, what you can do is basically create some kind of projects uh, from scratch like end to end projects that really help not the one which are online available to everybody like uh, not not specific to the projects which are available online as a part of a course a guided project or something like that that like uh, i have screened a lot of resumes i have taken interviews that kind of uh, projects uh, uh, like a uh, kind of given negative mark like only if you have those projects not uh, like there are uh, tens of guided projects written down there in which you just have to add one one line uh, in those code so to make it run that is not something that i, I am looking for what i am looking for is a person who can look at a problem like uh, identify a problem based on that problem he can uh, like create an end to end solution so that is something like if you find there are lots of things actually that you can do there are so many open source data available so if you if you look at those and if you try to create end to end projects that is the one of the most important thing that i or any like i can say for most of the people look in a resume uh, certificates do tell uh, some things that yeah you are certified because you cleared that exam or something like that but an end to end project is one of the most important thing and internships like if you are not able to uh, create that kind of project uh, you need not to worry so much you can create some kind of good projects basic projects not end to end but you can apply for internships because an internship like uh, I, i highly recommend startups because i learned a lot from startups like i joined startups and like uh, working there actually uh, for a short time too but they gave me a lot of learning so if you can write it down in your resume that you have done this internship but not for the just the sake of internship but you actually have worked on something some product uh, then that is another plus point so like if i'm looking at a resume i'll basically focus on these two things like your experience if you are a fresher then you should have some kind of internship experience or at least some kind of good projects end to end not copied from github or somewhere else yeah even if it's a little project okay uh, we did not do some rigorous coding but at least it's yes, yes, yours. Yes. it's yours you created it from scratch and you know that is what uh, the recruiter is uh, wanting to see in your resume right so yes. maybe if you are a fresher they might not expect you know you should build machines out of it but they are you know if you have they they want to see if you have approach towards the thing or not the good one yes and like it is really easy for a fresher to uh, get a entry level role because the company doesn't expect you to know everything 
what it just expects you is about the basics and stuff so you should be able to tell about the basics and at, at least you can you, you should tell or you, you you should be able to explain what you did and that's all they want yeah